check out this clip of a Lyft driver just cruising around Philly, looking for, you know, looking for someone that needs a ride somewhere, maybe some drugs you can pick up at a bar in the middle of the night. And there's Joel Embiid just jogging around in the middle of the night with a trainer, I guess. And people are pulling up, he yells, yells, trust the process at him. This just seems weird to me, Jalen. What is, what's happening here? What's happening here? I appreciate any craftsman that continues to work at being better at their trade. Whenever you start with a compliment, I know it's coming next. No issues with that in any way, shape, or form. But I'm gonna point out something as a former professional athlete that a lot of people may or may not think about when they see this video. What's that? Here's an athlete in Joel Embiid who's had issues with his lower extremities. Mm -hmm. You know what does not help that? Running on concrete. Oh, oh, the road work you're going with. You're going with the road work bad for the knees angle. And your back and all of your lower extremities. That's one. Mm -hmm. Number two, there are multi-million dollar facilities that yes. are owned by the Philadelphia 76. Yeah, yeah. So they put a lot of time and money into giving you places to work out. And if you want to train, if you want to sweat, if you want to work out 24-7, 360 car, I'm pretty sure you, 365, I'm pretty sure you have one of those security badges mm -hmm. that you can walk right in Or you're just seven feet tall and they know you're Joel Embiid and they let you in the door. So a lot of that is for show. Oh. For hype, Ooh. or we used to like to call it fake hustle. Fake hustle. I'm not mad at it though because he was sweating. He was getting and he sweaty. He wasn't out champagning and campaigning. Or Shirley Templeing. But at the same time, big fella, do those sprints in the gym on the court, not on the concrete. The fake hustle thing is interesting because when you wear white compression pants and you're seven feet tall and you're running through downtown Philadelphia, there's a part of you that knows someone else is going to notice, that knows that it's going to end up on social media, that knows that you're going to make a funny joke about it later, that knows that it's going to be on ESPN later in the day, right? And here's the thing. This isn't a movie and you're not Rocky. Like... <laughs> The one thing about Philadelphia and professional sports that I want to teach everybody, it's fun and cute to keep talking about this trust the process thing, but this is going to be the year the fans actually expect them to win yeah. some games. Yeah, exactly. And they don't want to see you running up the stairs if y'all are going to the lottery again. And then, you know what? If you're not playing in the preseason game, just don't be running around the streets.